Hey guys, it's NB Mick. Welcome back to Tales of Zillia. In the last episode, we made our way through the Kijara Sea Falls, fought a little boss. Um, it was in the previous area. I don't know why I'm looking this way as if it was in that direction. It was not. Anyway, we've made it to Niakara, so let's enter and see what we can do here. We've arrived. So this is Niakara. Huh. I thought it would be fancier. Excuse me, where's Ivor? Hmm? He went off to find Lord Maxwell and... Lord Maxwell? Yes, I have returned. I can't believe you deign to speak to me. I am unworthy. I guess she's the real deal. She's something, all right. Not everyone gets to road trip with a major deity. I had my doubts. Please relax. No need for formalities. You say Ivor isn't here? Yes, but he should have returned by now. We're worried about him. I see. He always did have a short temper. Please, return to your work. I need to perform the ritual to resummon the four at my shrine. But it would seem my handmaid is away. Would you mind lending a hand? What? You mean we can help you? I'm not exactly a religious scholar. It's nothing difficult. The village has four altars, each with a temporal stone. So you want us to bring those to the shrine you mentioned? Precisely. Why not just ask the villagers for help? You saw what just happened. Except for my handmaid, I don't really fraternize with the villagers. They can barely look at me, let alone hold a conversation. Ah, oh, the trials of godhood. Well, I guess a little physical labor won't kill us. Right, kid? We can handle it. Don't worry, Jude. I'll explain your predicament to the villagers after the ceremony. Please be patient for just a little longer. Uh, sure. Okay, let's get hunting for those temporal stones. You said they were in the village? Yes. Gather the stones and bring them to the shrine. It lies beyond the village. Uh, well, we passed by, like, three of the the temporal stones on the way here. Those were like the little altars with the... Um... With the, like, colored stones in them, so... Yeah, there's one for each element, earth, wind, fire, and water, and right now I'm just kinda going around. I believe... Sure is something. That's the Niakara Holomont. It's a special land where four spirit climbs meet. Yeah, all the way back there. But yeah, I believe we do actually also have some sub-events that have opened up as well. Um, so... We might have to get the temporal stones first. I'm not actually quite sure. Anyway, well, here's one of them. Here is the wind stone. And hello. Oh no, I can't believe I'm out of offerings to leave at the shrine. Could I ask you to help me find some more? They can be difficult to find. Yeah, of course. I need an insect husk to leave as an offering. It symbolizes the transition between life and death. Please try to bring the rarest and best shaped one that you can find. An insect husk. Do we... 
No, we don't have any of those. So we'll we'll just have to come back to her after defeating right. some enemies, I guess. I three more, just like that. Nia Kara really um, is the sticks, huh? How about we just call it simple? Ah, here's one of them. Oh, new skit, Mila's hometown. This is your hometown, Mila? It's so normal. Isn't it nice? It's so quiet here. Yeah, it sure is. Pretty weak, huh? I was expecting something freaky. Hey, come on. Did you say something? Oh, I was just wondering if your parents were around. Spirits don't have parents. And how were you born? I took this form 20 years ago. I appeared, along with the four, in the village shrine. Why? You seem to have a lot of questions about me. Just trying to keep Jude entertained. He was complaining about how boring the village was. Jude, do you crave chaos that much? What? I, I didn't say anything like that. Thanks, Elvin. Uh, anyway, let's talk to this guy here, and... Welcome home, Lord Maxwell. I'm glad to see you're all well. All thanks to you, Lord Maxwell. Wow. So people really do worship Mila. It's pretty rare to find Maxwell worshippers these days, but apparently they used to be quite common. Faith in the spirits seems to have fallen dramatically all over the world. Although I couldn't tell that from here. The more spirit arts progress, the more spirits are seen as simply another facet of nature. So they used to be a bigger deal back then? Yeah. Legends say that it was the spirit Maxwell who created Riza Maxia to begin with. And the first human to follow him, Kresnik, came to be known as the Genesis Sage. Correct. And the people of this village are Kresnik's descendants. <laughs> Yeah, you get crazy origin stories like that in all these rustic towns. How dare you! Twenty years ago, I personally witnessed the advent of Lord Maxwell and the Four Great Spirits. I saw her grow into the woman you see before you without ever taking a bite of food or a wink of sleep. This miracle is proof that our legends were true. Wanna tell this geezer about the time Mila collapsed from hunger? Just leave him alone. Come to think of it, the six ruling houses of Rashagal are all a part of that legend too. Their founders were supposed to be the six disciples of Maxwell and Kresnik, right? Now that is the truly absurd origin story. Those fools have no clue about the true secrets of this world. I should never have said that. Please, forgive me. What just happened? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Alright, then. Friggin' Elvin, the shit disturber. Yeah, you get origin stories like that. God damn it, Elvin. Uh, I believe there is this kid as well, yes? Oh, hey, you know what? I had an apple the other day. It was so good. I really want you to have one too, Lord Maxwell. If only someone could go get one for me. Okay. Hmm, you want us to find an apple and bring it back to you so we can give it so you can give it right back to me? That doesn't seem very efficient. But my mom won't let me go outside the village, and there aren't any apples here. Come on, Mila, let's just find an apple for him. Yep, that is sure something we can do. Uh let's see, how do I want to do this? Cause the apple is back in Hamil. And we will be going back to Hamil in the future, but we won't really be returning to Niakara after we go to Hamil then, so... I think, I think I'm gonna rush back to Hamil. These are Hamil. weird buildings. The villagers channel a combination of earth and wind spirits when constructing them. Neat. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna rush back to Hamil here. Um, I just grab the apple and then run on back. I uh, hopefully this isn't a wasted trip because they might actually not let me back into Hamil because of um, because we just ran from there. But but once we get that apple and give it to the kid, we'll go back go right back on to uh, doing doing the main quest, getting those temporal stones.
Okay, so we we can't go into Hamil to get the Napple yet because we need to be able to get into the Eastern District, and we can't we can't go there yet. So that's okay because uh, I jumped to the gun a little bit earlier anyway because I I said something about how we'll be returning to Hamil later, uh, but we won't be going back to Niakara for a little while after that. That's not quite true. We will have a reason to go back to Niakara, so we'll just take care of that side quest then. Um, so we have we have picked up all of the side quests at this point, I believe, that we can do, but we can't, we can't actually complete either of them. Sad times. We will, though. We'll, we'll go back there and complete them. Uh, eventually, once once we're able to get to Hamil for the Napple, and then once we encounter the enemy that drops the insect husk for it for us, we haven't actually yet. And Mila levels up on our way back, so let's go and unlock some of her next skills. So we get some some SP as long as free shift, some extra TP. And some intelligence, along with HP Restoration Guard. Let's go see what those are. So, HP Restoration Guard, recover 25% HP when you perform a successful Flash Guard. I don't really trust the AI to do that, so I'm gonna leave that off. And then Free Shift. Spirit Shifting and Art does not consume TP. Um, yes, absolutely. Um... Well, we may as well equip Flash Guard to use up the remaining TP, I suppose. Or SP, excuse me. We've made it back to Niakara. Also, by the way, uh, I believe a free downloadable content for the game is something that unlocks alternate colors for each of the characters. Um, and for some of the characters, I prefer that alternate color. <laughs> Though I think Elvin's looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> But I'm not going to be using them for these because I'm using the alternate colors for a different purpose. Some of you may have noticed that in previous episodes that the characters were sometimes randomly in their, their alt colors. And that's because I'm using them as a visual shorthand uh, for something taking place in Mila's Rent. Um, and right down here, we can jump down to the river to get our water stone. So yeah, for the, the main playthrough, we'll be using all the default outfits. And then just for the... And then just for the... For Mila's Road, that's when, that's when things will change. And right there's the earth stone, just like right here. I'm kind of only half paying attention to the world, actually. Uh, so now, now we just need to find fire, and I believe that over across there is it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. We'll just grab this. Thank you. There we go. And all four temporal stones. I appreciate your efforts. Let's bring them to the shrine beyond the village. Yep, and now we have a new skit, The Silencing. So, all the arts that channel the Four Great Spirits don't work anymore? Yeah, not since The Silencing 20 years ago. The power of the Four disappeared overnight, causing a worldwide panic. And when did Mila take human form again? 20 years ago. Wait, are the two related? Yes, that was me. I reserved the Four for my personal use. Seriously? I have no reason to deceive you. Of course, even I can't summon them now, so you'll have to take my word for it. I don't think that's the meaning of Elvin seriously, Mina, Mila. I'm sure he believes you. It's more like, why would you do that and not communicate it to anyone? <laughs> that's so mean. Uh, right, you're the person who wanted the offering. And then we can talk to, I believe that there is there is someone else we can talk to, unless we have already. Uh, let's check our sub-event list. No. I'm forgetting someone, I think. 
Oh. I'm confusing which exit to take. That's to the Zagut Flood Meadow. I highly recommend that you don't go that way, because, um... It's a higher level area than we're probably ready for. This is the guy I was thinking of. Ever since Lord Maxwell left on a journey, the path to a shrine has become infested with monsters. We villagers alone can no longer contain them. Will you help us? Yeah, of course. The monsters appear in a flock in the northeast region of the Niakera Spirit Way. Thank you for doing this. Yep, so now we have a sub-event in the Niakera Spirit Way to just take out some monsters. Uh, in the northeast section, I believe he said. So we're looking for someone in this region, and I also believe that there is an Eifried treasure somewhere in the Spirit Way as well, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Gotta be looking in trees, looking behind rocks, making sure we don't miss the weird purple crystal. Anyway, since there's really not a whole lot happening in here, just another box canyon with a slightly different color palette. Um, I'll probably be complaining about that a lot. <laughs> Let's, I'll just talk about some other stuff, I guess. Um, because recently, if you've been, if you watch my other channel, I recently got Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I am liking that game a lot so far. I, I, I did a video on it where, uh, I played up to the, the mock battle at the beginning, and for the curious, I chose the Blue Lions as my house. I know that's probably a controversial decision, but listen, I like my knights. Knights are good. But yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. I'm still very early in the game otherwise, but... Hey, Jude leveled up. Alright, wh what do you got for us, Jude? You have some... Some Psy. I forget what that stands for. Psyche? Probably something like that. It doesn't matter. Some TP and some intelligence. And that unlocks for us TP Restoration Guard. Of course, I don't have Flash Guard equipped on Jude. So that is redundant. Um, there's not really many people using magical stuff right now, so let's just increase our wind resistance. May as well, yeah. But other oh there there's our Eifried crystal in the in the tree there. Or what's that? I think it was behind a rock. I'm just saying words and hoping they work. And sometimes they do. Uh, what? What is... I, oh, it was Tiger Blade, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. I don't even know if you can, like, switch to people who weren't originally part of the the overlimit and do things that... I don't know. I want to try. Hopefully we'll get it one day. Anyway, let's see. Framed glasses, yeah? Let's see. There is a character I'm thinking of where that absolutely works on. I wouldn't say it works the best on Elvin. It works alright on Mila, so let's put it on Mila. Also, the pet dragon. I didn't mention it, but this is a reference to Tales of Vesperia. There is a dragon in it called Baul, I believe? It's been a while since I've played Vesperia. I have the Definitive Edition now, but I haven't actually played it. Oh, and then here are our... Our targets. We got Sylvan Wolves. Which are weak to Earth. I don't think any of us have Earth. And then just Basilisk, which are weak to no one. Uh, Sylvan, wor uh, Sylvan Wolves are speed, so that Mila is our ideal link partner. And then Basilisks are technical, so we don't have the ideal link partner for that. So let's just get uh, keep uh, Mila linked, and hopefully she'll start using Bind eventually. There we go. And that makes it... Wait, no, we we do have... It was Earth they were weak to, yeah? We do have Earth. 
There we go. Easy. And Mila has a bunch of Earth spells, so what am I thinking? Either way, the Basculists are down, so now we just gotta take care of that last wolf. Perfect. And now when Elvin gets a level up, but yeah, now when we head back to Niakara, we can turn that in. But right now, let's just keep pressing forward. Um, sure, let's see. TP. Intelligence. And that unlocks a TP restoration guard again. And then there's some HP for you. All right. Um, oh. Oh, this skit. Oh, no. <laughs> of monster bondage. You see the way Mila freezes those enemies in their tracks? I guess she really is into bondage. Oh, is that what the technique is called? Oh, I thought I'd get more of a rise out of you than that. I'm just tired of your lies and innuendos. Just give it up already. Oh, and now I'm the one being tied down by your sadistic decrees. Sorry, Jude. I'm not that into bondage play. But it is true that some people can only experience true intimacy when they're tied and bound. The conversation takes a surprising turn. Are you speaking from personal experience? No, I read it in a book. It was called Men and Women Beneath the Sheets. What sort of books are you reading? There was a similar comment in The Aesthetics of Being the Catcher, as well. That one's probably about something different. Oh? Well, well, I wouldn't really know. Sounds like Mila's more into total freedom than tying anyone down. Hmm... I think I'm just gonna let that one sit as is. <laughs> Good lord. There's a lot of dumb skits like that, but that one just takes me off guard every time. It's so... it's strangely iconic, but at the same time, it's like, you're never expecting it. Uh, and let's continue walking around this side of the bend just to pick up some more... things. Yep, as a chest. Chest is the most important thing. Ooh, a panacea bottle. I haven't been I haven't been really using a lot of those because I haven't really needed to. Not much status ailments. Oh, insect husks. Okay, so that that makes things easier. Let's make sure not to donate those to a shop. Because we need one of them. But yeah, I was I was expecting it to take a little bit to to get one of those, because the enemies that drop them aren't for a little while, if I'm recalling correctly. So them just being in a random bag here was a stroke of luck. Uh, this is, yeah. I believe there is an Eifried, um, an Eifried treasure here as well, so let's just keep our eyes open for that. As well, I'll just keep moving moving on and picking up a bunch of different treasures and stuff. Maybe we'll get the Napple. We won't get the Napple. The Napple is a unique... Oh, the food. I haven't been using food, have I? I'll have to make sure to, to equip one after this battle. Uh, we're, we're low on TP, so I'll probably equip one that... That restores TP at the end of every battle, if I have one. I might not. I might not have bought in the... I believe it was the ice cream that did that? Pudding cake. Ah, oh, same difference. There we go. Okay. But yeah, we, we won't get a Napple in one of these. The Napple is a unique... Uh, a unique item, which is kind of strange, considering that... It's, uh, it's a fruit? You would think fruit would be more common, but I guess not. I guess... Oh, yeah, here it is. Yo, it's way high up on the wall. We get some mysterious jewels, or a mysterious jewel, rather, so... That'll be... I believe mysterious jewels are materials, yeah? So we can... 
That's mysterious liquid. Are they key items yet? Then I don't actually. Yeah, it is a key item, where its purpose is unclear. It's unclear to me too. I don't remember. Hopefully, I'll find out soon. I don't like not remembering. All right, so I think we we have pretty much everything we need that we can get in this region now. So it's just time for another quick once over to pick up any materials and treasure chests that we may have skipped over because items are always good especially if they're free like these ones are hey another insect husk <laughs> we've been gotten we gotten a lot of those then huh and a lot of jet black feathers as well which is good because we we will need a lot of them and some sage that increases match H max HP by 10. Let's give that to Mila, because she is lowest on health. And then Jasmine increases dexterity. Uh, Elvin, probably? In some, in some Tales of Games, it's smart to hold off on the stat increasing. Um, plants because of synthesis, because you can synthesize, like, sage into red sage, for example, and that'll make it and that'll make it stronger, but synthesis doesn't exist in this game, so there's really no point. You can just use them as is. So. And yeah, I think we've we've got everything important at the very least, so let's keep going and head back in or head into the the Niakaro Halamont, I believe it was called. Or no, the Halamont was the the mountain. So What's up, item shop guy? Ah, uh, sure, we're here. Let's just make sure to not expand using the insect husk. Or at least we just need to make sure we need we have one remaining, yeah? So we can donate 11 of them. And that'll hyper-level up the, the item shop. So we can now buy some melon gels, I think it said. As well as syrup bottles, which are a preventative panacea bottle, pretty much. But they're expensive, so I'm not going to buy any right now. Alright, let's donate a hell of a lot to the weapon shop. Good lord. And what do we get from that? New weapons. Two new weapons for Jude, even. Okay. Okay. You know what, let's... Let's go in and buy everyone some new weapons. We got the Striker for Jude. We got the Scimitar for Mila. And we just unlocked the Dual Edge for Mila, so I should have probably bought the Regal Blade first. Ah, uh, it's fine. Well, let's buy the Dual Edge, I guess. And then... Time to sell all of these. Oh, I had a bronze helm that I hadn't equipped on anyone, huh? Uh, there you go. Okay, let's expand. Let's expand our armor shop. There we go. We probably won't have enough money for new armor now because I just spent everything on weapons, but let's see. Yeah, we we can af we can actually afford some stuff. Okay, well let's let's do it then. Note that even though physical defense may go up, elemental magic defense may differ. Yeah, that is something important to pay attention to uh, regarding uh, armor when you buy it. But for these, it's all fine. Everything goes up statically for this, so no worries there. And I don't like to, to sell accessories because they are more, they have more unique effects, so it might be a good idea to switch those out with each other later. It depends on the boss fights and such. And of course, we have new accessories in stock, but accessories are expensive, so... And there we 
we go. Now our food vendor is everyone leveled up. Everyone happy. We got so many new items in stock and so many new discounts. Uh, yeah, we're good on food for now, though. Okay. Well, now let's let's go to Mila's Shrine. That's what it was called. And hopefully Mila can summon back the four great spirits. In here. Is this your house? My house? I've never really thought about it like that, but I suppose so. Boy, you're really in the sticks. What do you do for fun out here? My mission is not to entertain myself. I do spend time reading books written by humans, if you must know. Sounds... fun. Let's perform the ceremony. So, is this... okay? Perfect. Thank you. Lady Mila, I was worried sick. This looks like the rite of the Four's advent. Why would you perform such a ritual? Wait, what's going on here? Efreet, where are you? Undine, come out! Lady Mila, what has happened? <laughs> 